What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. Two potential offensive line free agents have reached extensions with their teams. Let's get right into it. The Packers have reached an agreement with offensive lineman Elgton Jenkins on a new worth around $74 million in new money, first reported by Ian Rappaport. The Packers, even in an awful cap situation, have managed to find a way to make Jenkins the second highest paid guard in the National Football League. I hate this move as Jenkins was easily one of my top targets for free agency. With Jenkins off the board, my number one offensive line target in free agency is gone. And as I was writing this video up, we now lost another possible free agent target on the offensive line. The Cleveland Browns and right tackle Jack Conklin just agreed on a four-year, $60 million extension, so Conklin is staying in Cleveland. A tough blow to our free agent hopes this offseason. I will say there are still plenty of quality players available this offseason, but these were two of the biggest named offensive linemen headed for free agency. Also, they were two of my favorite options for the Bears. Just a quick rundown of some of the linemen still headed for free agency include Orlando Brown, Isaiah Wynn, Caleb McGarry, Mike McGlinchey, Garrett Bradbury, Connor McGovern, Dan Feeney, Andrew Dillard, Will Hernandez, Dalton Reisner, Cody Ford, Ethan Posick, Wyatt Davis, Terrence Still, David Edwards, and more. I'll keep you guys updated if any other big name free agents reach contract extensions over the next few weeks, and then I will update my free agent list and cover every step of free agency once we get to the offseason. Elton Jenkins resigning does hurt, one, because he stays in Green Bay, and FGB, seriously, type it in the comments, FGB. But on top of that, he had experience with Luke Getze, and I'm sure he would have been a target if he was available once free agency started. I will be watching a ton of tape on potential free agents. Stay tuned, hit the like button for me, and subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss out. Over 80% of my views come from people who are not subscribed to the channel. Just need a few of you to join up. Until next time, guys, bear down.